So now in, in this video what we are going to see is that we are going to see some of the additional features in SSRS like so currently what we did we are just getting the data from the table right uh, we are just getting the data by using a data set click on the SSRS training I'll be eating this uh, I don't have anything I can't see then general view and click on the solution expert then I can see all my projects uh, my projects and reports click on the anything click on the interaction that RDR. Okay, in, in, in the interaction that RDL in the data set, when I okay, I'll not do use because it is using the shade data set. So what I'll I'll create we can create our own report. It's a it's a, that that is the best thing. Click here, click on the reports, add a new report, new item, I'll name it as something like uh, SPs. SPs report select that type as a report, add it, I'll get that. I'll add a data source, click add data source. Because already we have some shade data source, I will just use the shade data source that is adventure works. Oh. Adventure works, shade data source. I will write it as something adventure ADW. Okay, done. In the data set, right click on the data set. So now let us say we want to run some query. So last previously, what we have seen? We have seen a simple thing, right? I am opening a database. So until then we go to the reports and we will see here. In the reports we can directly go to the we can select the data data source which you have and click on the query designer. In the query designer I can click on this I want to select some table let us say I want to select some uh, bill of materials add it close I will select all columns done ok I got it ok done. So we are given manually we are given the query we are writing a query right normally when I click on database properties you can see the query here but you can also write the store procedure what I will be doing I will name that this data set as something bill of materials right BOM I will select the query here ok now I will create a store procedure in my database somewhere I think it is on the server click on this in the adventure works I will create a store procedure go to the databases click the adventure works select this and new query I will create a store procedure now create procedure I will write it as some test bill of material as I will give the query go that is it I got the query right execute it automatically I got so I'll, it is a test to BOM test to bill of material BOM shortcut right so that is it now click on this now instead of giving this text box I will just write the store procedure automatically I will get the, all the store procedure that I have which data I, 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 want, I want to just see the connections what is the connection adventure or shared data source Oh, it is a different server, so that's why we are getting that issue. So what I'll do, I'll just uh, connect it in the different server now. Create, I'll just okay. I wrongly press something other stuff. Oh. Yeah. Just click change connections because it is on a different server, so the, because of that you are able to get that. Click, I'll select the other server. Click connect done here I have to click this on adventure works adventure works done execute this so it will be created now I can see the store procedure click on the data set now instead of selecting the text just click on the store procedure when I click this I will get the test BOM done when I click ok see automatically you will be getting what are the fields you got you got the fields but instead of getting the from the, from the query you will be getting from the store procedure see this is a one way other way is that control C click on the text here only you can write the other way EXEC execute procedure name this also works see both are same even though you are getting see if you write something like different thing data set properties you are given some wrong thing click ok so you see automate the system will say what is meant by that ok if I click ok Okay, 
Yeah, actually, it is, I need to refresh the fields. Done. See, I'll get the fields, but actually should not get the fields. It will not. Even though you get the fields, but when I drop it, it will show an error. There is no object like anything. Delete it. I'll just insert some table here. Actually, you will not be getting any columns. When I see the preview, it will show an error. That object is not there. See, there is no. I cannot find the stored procedure test bound one. Okay. But in, at the same time, it will also it will not show this one also because it is a test box, right? So, in unable to it will it will be uh, doing it will be checking that later on during the execution time it will check fields. I got it here options, filters, parameters. Actually, it should not show anything, could not update the list of fields of query. Verify that you can correct your data source that that your query syntax is correct. Yeah, okay, this is like a couple of things, and let us say. I will just remove this execute store process. Okay, done. Now, let us say I want to pass the store process with something ID. So, when I do this select star from what I will be getting here, I will be getting the details. Now, I want to pass some ID here, bill of materials ID to the store process here. Then, how can I do? Just pass it here variable at the rate of bill of material ID as integer. Done. And here I will give it here where uh, bill of material material ID equal to at the rate of BOM and since already the store procedure is there just I will do alter execute it. So, this store procedure will have the parameter now whatever the parameter I want to pass just write select execute right exec execute procedure name ts to test to BOM and I need to give the bill of material let us say I, have, I got like 129 I do not know whether we have we have the 129 or not. Yeah, we got 129. See, I got it right. So you can pass it the same way here also. Now I I've changed the structure, right? Click on this, go to a data set properties. I got it here. Here I can give the parameters at the rate of because I don't have any very parameter created there, right? I can do either way. Just give the question mark, go to the parameters. Since you don't have, you will get an error. So I can do it another way. Just click cancel, click on the parameters. I'll add one parameter now. I'll name the parameter as like BOM ID. Done. Click on this. See, automatically when I preview, now it will ask me the ID. If I give like 29, 129, right? If I give V report, see, I will be waiting the data for 129. See here. Like this. This is a one way to do pass the parameters to the store procedure. Other way is that click on the store procedure this is other way right Ex expand this test to bill of materials now automatically when you go to the parameters it will ask you of the parameters ok this is a parameter name and value value is nothing but this one you will be getting from your report what are the parameters you are given you can assign the by default you got that parameter so it got assigned that is other way both will work ok this is regarding the procedures how you can do and because already we covered a lot of things on the parameters in the previous videos right same way. So, this is for the store procedure. If you want to execute the store procedure and if you want to pass the parameters to store procedure, this is the same thing. Okay. So, everyone is okay with this one?